Hello and welcome to the player prop video for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Arizona Cardinals for this Christmas Day. And Merry Christmas to those of you who are celebrating. I'm your host, Matthew Mato for Lamps.com, joined here by Jacob Wayne. And uh, we have an interesting one on our hands where, if you have not yet, we have the Bane Picks video out where we go over spread, over, under, and money line. But not much we love there. I actually do think there is some value in these player props. And Jacob and I were just arguing, well not arguing, but discussing a player prop. And let's kick it off right there, Jacob. Rashad White, Leonard Fournette. We both think the Bucs are going to win this game, probably be in control of this game. It seems like 40 and a half and 40 and a half could be a value, but who is going to get the majority of carries, the snaps? Where is it going to? Yeah, I mean, this is certainly a matchup where I think the Bucs will be able to run the ball. I mean, the the Cardinals allowed Latavius Murray to run for 130 yards on 24 carries last week, and I, mean, I, I think that's hilarious, but um, the Cardinals ranked 29th in run defense CVOA, 23rd in yards per carry allowed. So you're looking at the Bucks with, you know, eight, being eight-point favorites. And I think this will be a game where they can finally get some run game going because it's, they haven't been able to do all season. They're 32nd in yards per rush, 30th in rushing offense CVOA. But, yeah, I think the game script certainly lends itself to the run game here. I think there's a good chance both Fournette and Rashad White have success here. Um, but for, personally, I would lean Rashad White. He had 16 touches last week. And, you know, I, I feel like the Bucks kind of know what they have in Fortnite. They don't really need to test him out or get him reps, whatever you want to call it. And I feel like this is an opportunity where Rashad Blake can really take over this game and have an opportunity to showcase his skill and, like, get more confidence in his play and see if they can use him as more of a weapon as they enter the playoffs here. Um, so, yeah, I, I think both guys have success. Fournette did out-snap Rashad White last week, 43-29. Uh, to 29, But you were saying – I don't have this right in front of me. Rashad White uh, had more carries, you are saying? Yes, one more carry than Fortnite. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, th I think there's a good chance both guys go over their, their rushing total, but I feel like I lean for uh, I lean Rashad White. What about you? Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm placing either. Like, I agree yeah. there's value here. I'm just not going to try and sit here and, and guess. Um, when I feel like the prop I'm, I'm in love with is Chris Godwin receptions, but I'll take his yards at 64.5. You saw how... Yeah incredibly well he played last game and this is a perfect Chris Godwin game you have a terrible coverage unit with a team that blitzes at the third highest rate in the NFL I don't know what more you can ask to get Chris Godwin 15 plus targets in the game but I've said this several weeks and I've been on this prop basically every week it doesn't really matter the matchup but this matchup I just think is extra good for it Tom Brady Began the ball out ridiculously quick, one of the quickest in the NFL, mainly because his offensive line is bad, he's immobile, and he's old. <laughs> so all of that leads to Chris Godwin in those underneath and intermediate routes, getting tons and tons of targets. Chris Godwin, every single game this year, has, in my opinion, looked better and better since coming off that terrible injury in the playoffs last year. And I think that's something to to remark here, too. Is like We're towards the part where I'm starting to see a 100% healthy Chris Godwin. And Chris Godwin, when he's healthy, is one of the best receivers in the NFL. Like, uh, I don't know how this line is 64 and a half anymore. I don't know how they didn't bump it up after seeing what happened last week against the Bengals in the first half. But I am taking Chris Godwin receiving yards, receptions, what, uh, whatever Godwin prop you want to throw at me, I will take it. I wouldn't even hate his anytime TD score. It's plus 135 on DraftKings. We can get much better odds on Caesars and Fandle, so I'll check those out. But, yeah, uh, Chris Godwin... To have a fantastic game, I would probably take some alternate lines in a little parlay as well, but that's where I'm at. And not to avoid your question completely, but I lean Rashad White. I just don't think I can bet the rushing yards because this coaching staff makes dumb decisions. So I could totally yeah. see it being Fournette. Yeah. Um, did you realize Russell Gage had five red zone targets last week? That's crazy. He's... The, the gauge, I can't think of a good pun here, but I did not realize <laughs> I, that. I'm over here, like, I'm trying to figure out if Mike Evans' anytime touchdown score is going to be a value here. I feel like this could potentially be a Mike Evans game, but I'm like, shout out to lineups. We have our, our awesome red zone tool uh, where you can see red zone targets, red zone touches for all teams, all players. And yeah, Russell Gage had five red zone targets last week, and I know he scored a touchdown, but I mean, that, I don't know if that's an intentional scope of like they're trying to involve him more in that area for some reason, or if that's just kind of fluky, but if. Russell Gage is at plus 330 to score a touchdown on FanDuel right now. Let's see if we can get a better number on that elsewhere using our lineups player prop tool. Um, yeah, it looks like plus 330 is the best value out there right now. Do you think that's you think that's worth a look? Yeah, I don't see why not. I think also, 
I shot this out a lot. BetMGM offers the risk-free first touchdown score if he scores at any point in the game. Normally, I kind of like using that on a guy that I, I'm pretty sure is going to score, so I basically get that bit bet risk-free. But Russell Gage at plus 1,400 on DK is probably similar around BetMGM for first-time scorer. I don't know. Worth a look. It's pretty Why spicy. Not? Hopefully somebody got to so. use that on Trevor Lawrence last night because – yeah, I had his. T- I gave out his touchdown prop, and he scored first. I did not bet his first touchdown score, but you know, <laughs> he wins some news and he missed some. Um, but yeah, I-, I feel like this is a game where the Bucks' passing offense can get going as well against this banged up uh, Cardinals secondary. Byron Murphy will be out. Marco Wilson's banged up, um, and Buda Baker's back. But yeah, overall the secondary is not in-, in good shape. And like you said, like they blitz at a super high rate because they don't have any great pass rushers. So I think for the first time in a while. Tom Brady will have some time in the pocket to work with, and I don't think the Cardinals can fully afford to just blitz every play because Tom Brady will pick them apart on the back end. So, yeah, I think Tom Brady can have some success here as a passer, uh, which leads me to think that there might be some value on his passing yardage prop. Um, The biggest concern there is, like, game script, and if they just get an early lead and they can lean on the run game, then you might see him throw less. But this is still a team that passes the highest rate in the NFL. So do you think there's any value on him over 269 passing yards? It's too high. It would have to be under 250, I think, for me. I, I really see this game as like a 255 kind of game for Tom Brady. And I agree. I think he's going to be efficient. He's going to be good. But they're just, they're A, I think, going to play at a very slow pace. And then B, they're just going to be in control. There's no reason for him to like super air it out. Yeah. Um, which, if I do believe that, I feel like, again, there should be value on Fortnite and Rashad White. I just can't pick one yet. Oh, that's so yeah. frustrating. <clears throat> so. I mean, yeah, I I think it's just a bit high for me at two sixty nine and a half. What about uh, any Cardinals players? Any Cardinals players have around for player props? Oh yeah, McSorley under half a passing TD at plus one fifty. You're gonna be plus money for this That's guy to not throw a touchdown pass. I am taking that all day. Um, yeah, and the other prop I'm really gonna be honest: McSorley over rushing yards once it comes out. McSorley's a a pretty decent rusher, and I said this in a Bane Picks video, I think him and James Conner may be practicing some option stuff this week, and I wouldn't not be surprised if they actually see a little bit of success on the ground. Um, Sorley just is not a, a good passer. I mean, mm-hmm. he's had 29 passes this season. He's 15 for 29 with three interceptions, no touchdowns. Uh, with an average you know, completion of 5.7 yards, a QB rating of 29.5, a QBR of 13 points, it's it's bad. But I will say he looks good rushing the football, and he actually, Jacob, I can't remember the exact amount, but I want to say he had two or three rushes called back on holding calls. Like, that number one for eight is deceiving mm-hmm. in the Broncos game. I think he, yeah. he rushes several times in this one, so I'm pretty yeah. happy taking his rushing yards. And under half a passing touchdown, honestly, we won't even hate parlaying the two together, to be Dude, that's frank. That's kind of crazy value. Um He's always thrown 39 passes in his NFL career, and he has one touchdown. Um, it's a touchdown rate of 2.5%, obviously a tiny sample size, but the Bucks do allow the fifth most passing touchdowns per game. Um, but, you know, their defense is getting relatively healthier on the back end, especially with Anton Winfield being back. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty interesting value there for a game that has a 39.5 point over under. And so what the implied point total for the Cardinals would be, like, 15, something like that? Yeah. yeah. So, like, the, the very over under have, points is 15 and a half. So, like, very unlikely they have more than one touchdown. And, I mean, probably a decent chance that touchdown comes from James Conner on the ground or what have you. But, yeah, I think that's pretty nice value on the under for McSorley. Do you want to know McSorley's one touchdown in his NFL career? Like, when it happened? or? Yeah, what, yeah, what sure. it was. It was yeah. a 70-yard bomb. Hollywood Brown. So, I mean, they could connect <laughs> again. 70-yard <laughs> bomb to uh, Pitts- against Pittsburgh. However, I'm watching the highlight right now. It was on a comeback route that went 10 yards, and then three Steelers all missed tackles on <laughs> Hollywood Brown. So, if you're going to lose a plus 150 bet on that, I, I, I'll... T- you know, I'll take that 10 times out of 10. It, yeah, it I happens. mean, it could, be, it could be one of those where you're just sitting there watching, and you're like, you just get to laugh at it, and be like, alright, chalk it up to, it, to now, but... It also happened with two minutes left in the fourth quarter in a two-score game. So, like, it's that's yeah. So, okay, that's the, that's the one thing that would be potentially concerning there is like if there's garbage time yeah. and 
the Bucks are just kind of letting let them throw whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I still think that's probably a good value there. Um, Even as somebody who has DeAndre was... Hopkins on a couple of fantasy teams entering the semifinals, how are you feeling about Hopkins in this game? Because I'm terrified. I'm depressed. I have to play him. Like, there's no way I can't play him, but I'm depressed. Like, I just watched that highlight again. The pass was terrible to Hollywood Brand. <laughs> McSorley's so bad at passing the football. Uh, I, but it's like, do you really have the balls to, to not play Hopkins? But, yeah, I'm, I'm not playing his player props or anything like that. If, yeah. I'll be depressed. Maybe, you know what, maybe I'll go in his unders, and that way I, I'm, I'm hedging my happiness. <laughs> the happiness hedge. It's he, always, always a good luck. Yeah. Anyways, um... It's a pretty weak game for player props. I think Godwin is a good shout. I think the rushing props are a good shout, and the McSorley under passing touchdowns. But other than that, yeah, I not mean, a ton of value here. Based off of what we had to do with the, the Broncos-Rams game, I'm honestly really excited to have five bets to talk about. I feel <laughs> I feel relieved. All yeah, right, I gotta, I gotta it's go going to wrap it up. <laughs> Thank you for watching. As always, if you liked this video, drop a like. If you did not, you dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets. Check out the Bang Picks version of this video to go over where we go over spread, money line, and over under. Hit that subscribe button to get more great content. We cover all the college football bowl games, all the NFL games, and we covered the entire Christmas slate of NBA games. And there will be much more NBA content coming at you starting in January. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you for the next one very soon.